Second learning target we're going to talk about is types of data. Um, so as we've talked about numerical data is continuous or discrete. Um, it takes any number, continuous or discrete. Uh, we talked about that a lot in our last unit on the normal distribution. Um, the second part we're going to concentrate in this unit is the categorical data. Um, we're going to find that there is a type of categorical data that we can use numbers for, but we call it categorical. And it's what you, you would think it is, is the data that can be arranged into categories. Um, two types of categorical data um, and the way we kind of remember what they are is the nominal order means nominal data is no order and ordinal data is order. Um, so nominal is groups or categories not ranked so we can't say like one eye color is higher than another and ordinal data is where groups or categories are ranked so we can call them learning skills. Sorry, for example, is a provincial learning skills nor, uh, needs improvement, satisfactory, good, excellent. We could change, notice how in ordinal data, we could just change the numbers to, like, the letters to 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and there is a ranking system here. So to know the difference, um, uh, it, it does help to know something's ordinal because you, you might want to, you might want to look at those numbers. So, you, so you, want, you might care how many people agree or strongly agree. Like those are categories, but they're not, they're ordinal categories. So I want to look at uh, another file from Fathom uh, that we can, we can play with. Uh, so you survey. Uh, so this is the Ontario you survey given out every year. Um, the textbook talks a little bit more about it. And so if we look at the, the data collection, we bring in the table. Um, and so again, we can actually see what types of, what types of data are nominal versus order, ordinal depending on, on the graph. And I'm giving you a better idea. Um, so we can see like, here's a, here's a question. I feel safe at school. And so, so it's something that's really important to, to schools to make sure that their students feel safe. We could just drag and drop that whole variable into the x-axis. Uh, this is a bit different graph than before. It's it's the bar graph. And so what we do, this is this is what we call ordinal data. And so what we care about is uh, the order. And so if never comes, um, we care about never. That's that's probably like a zero. That's really bad. Um, I rarely feel safe would be second. Some of the time I feel safe, most of the time, all the time. Notice how, like, really benefit to putting it in this order. Um, and so with ordinal data, if you have ordinal data, you really want to put it in order so that you can see this kind of progression. We can also replace this ordinal data with numbers, uh, and that's what, um, that's how we're going to do the, the survey and the culminating assignment. Just get people to rank from zero to ten. And actually, put numbers on it, so then we can put we can do things like averages and standard deviations. Okay. Another graph um, we wanted to look at was the uh, what What are you going to do after high school? And so we look at this graph and you make it big. Remember that it's only one variable, so we put it on x-axis, and the the y-axis is um, the number of people that are in that category. I'm just going to put it down a little. Okay. And so this is another one I want to look at. And so the thing about this is this isn't ordinal. We can't just put these in an order. Like you might think completing a university degree goes here, but somebody else might think that college is actually better. I know people that make more money from with college diplomas than their university. But then, like, we don't even know what other is. So that could be, that could be the best, that could be the highest. I don't know, like, why, why is I don't know any worse answer than university degree? I've seen a lot of people knowing that they're going to go to university, but wasting the money. People that I don't know that are waiting it out, uh, that's a different category. The point is, doesn't really matter what order we put these in. They're all unique answers. There's no order to these answers. Um, and so that's, that's really important when we understand, uh, nominal data.
there is no order to the answers. Okay. So some practice questions like so you can read through these questions on 203. It's really important you go through these questions so that you you understand like the kind of questions that you ha you're going to be asked, uh, what you really need to understand, be able to articulate. Uh, you can also research online. It's really kind of fun to do this uh, example of data that, that that are accurate but they misrepresent the information. I'll never forget this article in Sportsnet with Connor McDavid. Uh, two games into the season is average goals per game, um, just a ridiculous number. And they're trying to compare it to like his last few seasons and saying how he's better than ever. And the game, the season was only like two, two game or four games in or something like that. And so it's really, and they've got this bar graph. The bar is gigantic versus the other ones. And, uh, and I noticed that a lot. It's actually really interesting when you notice that kind of thing. Okay.